Blobbyland was a theme park located in Somerset, England, which is based off the character Mr. Blobby and Noel Edmonds' BBC TV show, Noel's House Party. If you're British, you'll definitely remember this creepy guy and Mr. Blobby. Following the show's massive success, two theme parks were built in 1994. One based in Lancashire that closed down three months just after opening, resulting in a two million pound loss for the local council. What a fantastic old house this is, and I must say we are having problems at the moment outside. The second and more popular park was located in Somerset. The short-lived attraction resided deep in wildlife gardens at Cricket St. Thomas, and was a nostalgic childhood memory to those who visited. In the first year, the park attracted over 600,000 visitors and included the home of Mr. Blobby, also known as Dunblobbin, and also had a train ride that visitors could use to get to different areas of the park. While popular in its first couple of years, it soon turned into a commercial disaster and in the following years had issues with the council. Unfortunately for Blobby fans, the show was cancelled in 1999. Oh, Blobby, Blobby, Blobby. Following this cancellation, the park officially closed in the same year. Due to its closure, it was left completely abandoned and left to rot away for 15 years. The once vibrant colours were left to fade. Windows were smashed and eventually became an eyesore. Many people have gone back to explore the site and to vandalise it, and to rave, and to destroy it. Cool. Props and furniture were left untouched when it closed. Over the years, these items slowly disappeared. The train track was also closed off and no longer in use. For a while, they blocked off the entrance in 2014 to stop intruders from abusing the derelict building. However, it was mysteriously removed and rumours circulated that they were making plans. Sadly, in mid-2015, the park was demolished and the reason was never reported. All that lies there are the remnants of childhood memories scattered across the rubble and dirt. As of January 2017, I have found no reports of if they're planning to build over it. So you'll just have to keep your eyes peeled.